I hope we're gonna have an eye. Yeah, we are. Because it would be really awkward if I was just at an aerial point of view at mid. No, we're not. We're not gonna have any knife. Did I miss it? I must have. Um, anyway, Titan, pretty good team on Cash, but Penta, Cash being one of the best maps in my opinion. Um, Crystal, trying to see if he can find. Oh, he takes the head off of Apex. It's his body. That's the entry. That is a quick entry as well. That's really, really, it's good work. A very uh, CT-sided map, this. But we see some teams, like the best of teams, they can obviously rack up loads of T-rounds -round, T on cash, but um, I don't really know. I think the maps are picked by Vito, so I don't see why Titan would face off against Penta on cash. Uh, I definitely don't want to, but uh, good flash coming out. Dennis totally blind. And it seems like a bomb site is more or less clear. Trouble is the only guy, and he's on the truck. So easy entrance onto the to the a bomb site, but uh, maybe that's kind of the strat. If an aid comes in now, oh, I just called it, Kobe, <laughs> RBK. Seeing if we can find anything. But the bomb going down means extra money for the terrorists, no matter what. Dennis takes out Kinius RBK. Very oh, he's instrumental in this position, but. It's not getting much luck they're just coming from oh every angle. That was actually quite close. If you had taken out uh, both of those on the burst fire, it would have been a whole nother round. But first round goes to Penta Spots. Crystal with two. Next with one, probably with one, and Dennis with one. So let's hope that this time we'll see Penta kind of sm well smoothing out their kills all over the scoreboard. Instead of Nex and Crystal carrying, like versus LGB, but not a lot was working for them. And uh, to be fair, especially Dennis, I saw him get some really nasty one clicks over and over and over again. So he didn't have much chance to even get any kills. But let's put on the auto director. It seems like the T's are going to be setting up some smoke strats for A. This is usually what you see. What's uh, we've got one guy, RPK. Let's follow this. I think you can follow it on out. Uh, it's most likely just going to bo block off the entire site so they can walk right into the site. We're going to see the smoke's coming in. <laughs> Excuse me. Going to block off the site. Let's go to the aerial point of view. A lot of smoke's oh, everywhere, pretty much. Molotov comes into the site, though, so bomb plan is going to be delayed. That's actually onto quad, not on the bomb site. So, forget what I said. Dennis with one onto existence through the smoke it must have been. And Titan are gonna get the bomb plant again. So they might not get very many rounds, but they're at least getting a lot of bomb plants. And good shot from Spitty. I'm defusing the bomb. Easy round for Penta. X-ray would be more fun. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, now it works. On the other stream it did not work to put on X-ray. But it's on now. Thank you so much for your you are your 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 comment. Um, I s well comments or whatever. But um, I see a lot of people saying X-ray. Remember to put it on now. It should be on. Yes, it is. On the other stream, it did not work. But on this one, it does right seem like it does. Um, only a combined two kills on Titan after two rounds. That's a kill per round. That's really not what you want. Boost spot Molotov and mid smoke, but the T's not going anywhere near that. Apex getting a free gun pretty much. Spinny goes down early on the round. Existence and Kenny S only with pistols and uh, we'll see Titan, in my opinion one of the best teams to... This is probably down to the fact that they've got one of the world's best colors in existence, if not the best. They get one kill and then they just use the map control that that kill gains them to completely change their play. You can see Maniac lurking around here on B. I could see him either fake out B or A. Maybe the three guys on A are actually going to fake it out so the bomb can go somewhere else, but they just really like to exploit the fact that they've got so much map control now that they've uh, gotten the first kill. I mean, especially, like, in my opinion, one of the best teams on Nuke to do this. Nuke is a a map that's much about map control. If you want T-Rounds, you need to use everything you've got. Crystal, taking a lot of damage. A lot of CT still on the site, so this could be fatal, but it seems it's only fatal for the CTs, really. Maniac in great position, takes out next, that's great. Probably 
Should be able to take out Maniac. Maniac goes down. Troubly, it's not a long time since we saw him make a 1 versus 5 play on Cash. But Titan. That's a different beast. And Troubly. Trying to see if he can find an entry, but it's just not... It's not, it's not easy when they only peek him one by one, and then as soon as he, he uh, commits, they all go for it. <clears throat> but first round on the board for Titan looked really um well looked like a really really solid round. Why get a Karami case harden when you can get a rust coat for probably less the price? It's just as ugly as Shaw Knife right now in existence. Sorry to say. It's uh, not not the most beautiful knife, this. But let's not make it about skins, let's make it about counter strike. And um Speedy and Nex opens up onto Kenny S. So far, zero kills for him. I don't think... Well, I didn't think I'd had seen him get any. I'm going to come up with a really poor rhyme again. I haven't seen Kenny get any. Yeah, so it's going to be like that on this second channel. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, Maniac taking point. Needs to find Dennis in the door. Dennis takes out Apex through the door. That's big. Dennis does not know existence is coming from his flank, but Dennis makes his way out, and they don't know Maniac is behind. He's in quad, and they don't know. He's got three kills. This is extraordinary play by Maniac. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maniac. Can he get more? Speedy goes down. Maniac. I'm speechless! That's phenomenal play, Maniac! Oh my days! Next, one versus two! Is Maniac the man of the hour? Goes down, all on existence, and existence wins it! Down to the play of Maniac! Oh my god, boys, what have we just witnessed? Oh my god, let's just highlight this player a bit. Oh my god, Maniac! Oh my god! He must be feeling pretty good about himself! Oh, whoa, 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 that is so well played! This is what we're here for, boys! Phenomenal play! Phenomenal play by Maniac! Three kills! Oh, wow! <clears throat> But Titan, seeing if they can get more rounds on the board. Speedy with only a pistol, but we've got an orb on Crystal, and we all know how dangerous he can be with that one. It's very shiny as well. It uh, looks nice. Crystal on the A site. He kind of has, guessed correctly, good boost by Speedy and Crystal. This is such a great spot. You can take the kill, you can jump down, and you're pretty much safe. So it's uh, a low-risk, high-reward position. Apex with the bomb coming close. But if he peeks out, he's gonna die. Crystal is not the guy to miss the shots, but he's gotta be anxious. He hears the door open. He does miss the shot. Gets the second. Oh, Apex goes down. Crystal is gonna be hunted down. And existence with two. With. Oh, no, not three, in fact. Kenny has last man standing. We've seen him do it time and time again. Can he do this time, though? Planning inside of the smoke. Nex and Trouble, he can't find the angle. Not quite. Kenny S making his way to quad, and this is such a powerful position. Oh, they're using each other to jump up on the red container. That's brilliant. If you can find the first, you might find the second, but he cannot. Trouble smells the scent of the baguette and uh, picks off Kenny S to win the round. 3-2 to two in favour of Penta Sports. I see a guy in the chat saying, I was wondering if it wasn't NATO, his voice is so sexy. <laughs> and also another guy saying, why is the stream so laggy? And I'll tell you, it's the Go TV. We've got 76,000 people watching and um, yeah. I don't have the actual Go TV IP. I, like I'm watching through the watch tap, like any other. And this many people puts a lot of stress on the servers, I guess. And so I'm not an internet guy in any way, but you know, it makes sense. There are so many people watching that 
it will start lagging. <clears throat> so inside of my hands, smoke's coming in instantaneous. As the first one is thrown, the next ones are. Molotov's coming in, but I think they were extinguished. Apex spots a lot of players. Good smoke from him. All five smokes initiated by the T's. And they are initiated well. Apex takes a really brilliant position. Very clever position as well. Dennis opens up onto Kenny S. Apex about to go down, I think. All of the CTs raining in. This kill needs to land. Maniac does it. Crystal on the bomb site. If he he could get Crystal. Oh, Crystal is low on HP though. RPK alone again. And again, just a bit off. Oh. Crystal didn't have a kit. And it could have could have changed the outcome of the round had they not communicated well, but they did. And so it's 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 good to see Penta looking much better against Titan. <clears throat> no, it doesn't make sense, Low First game had over 200k viewers and didn't lag. Well, they are spectators on the actual server because they are at the event. I am watching through the in-game watch tab like anybody else. I'm fairly certain they are not, so they will not be affected by the fact that this has so many viewers. But I am. I am heavily affected. Do you need to disable ad block for drops? Nope. Are you casting alone? So lonely? Well, it's Counter-Strike, you know, it's it's good stuff. I really enjoy this and, uh, you know, it's a different way of watching Counter-Strike. But it's really enjoyable. Um, being part of the action. Oh, Kenny S. Great kill onto him. Dennis takes out one. That's existence. That's the strat caller. Kenny S. Another. Tech 9. He's really strong and he's... I think he's coming out of hibernation, this guy. RPK, I think it is. No, it's Maniac on top. Maniac takes out one. Smart choice to jump down. Next. It's going to go down to the handsome Maniac in just a second. Oh, Kenny S. Who is it going to be? Next. RPK it is, in fact. So many Tech 9s. So many angle angles to check. And it's just not possible. Next goes down. Dennis, this time, stepping up. 10 kills for him. Then again, he's seen most of the action over at the A bomb site, and uh, it's much harder to retake a site than it is to hold one and lock it down. But he is trying his hardest to do just that, and I think that he's doing a, f a pretty good job. Four rounds to three. It is a CT sided um, map, though. RPK running into a lot of enemies. Does go down. Headshot from Dennis. Flash comes in. Next picks out. A Molotov or a nade will do. Well, nothing. Nothing. And next manages to get out. Maniac a bit too slow. That's unfortunate. Assistance trying to open up mid. Got a lot of uh, map control, but they can't really use it for anything as the CTs are just very passive and have read the rotations really well. Good smoke. Apex. Needs to fight both both next and Trouble Good Molotov. Trouble great shot. Crystal coming in from above. Spotted by Kenny S. Kenny S takes out one. Can he get more? Two guys very low, but he does go down. It looked like it was the time for the clutch. Next on one and Dennis on 23. And he also had the AWP in hand, but not quite. Kenny S. A bit of a slow start. But it's all good. Five to three. Whoever loses this game is eliminated, and it's it must be heartbreaking for Penta, seeing as they made it out of the groups last time to go home in groups. They have finally become what is in CS:GO stickers, at least seen as the legends, and uh, now they might be simple challengers again. But the same story goes for Titan who have been legends for so long. The question is, will they be able to uphold? <coughs> oh wow, excuse me. <coughs> will they be able to uphold their legend status? Or will they be going out today already? Two great teams. Dennis takes out existence. 
entry for him again. Very, very solid player. 14 to 5 is a great score. RPK trying to work the door here. An Apex. Actually, Maniac. Ooh, good entry from him. Might cause some rotations, and it does seem like they're actually going to decide on the B bomb site. So if, if RPK can fake that door well enough so he can keep two CTs at bay, then. Um, Oh wow, Trouble! The shot through! Insta dinks him through the through the plywood there. Crystal goes down, Maniac cannot take one more. Kenny S, up in hand, works just like a laser gun for this guy. Gets the bomb plant, but they're already close, so this is gonna be really hard. Good shot from him! Ah, oh, goes down! Spitty a bit too quick, almost the one versus three clutch coming in from Kenny. Hmm. I don't know about this game, I'm just here for the free shit. <laughs> oh wow. I'm getting told, well, I I hear, or well, I see in the chat that I am not on neither HLTV or CSGO Lounge, which could explain the amount of viewers, so I should probably try to <laughs> try to get that fixed in the half time, which is already too late, but um, yeah, you know, oh, Crystal, he does not even realize there's so many players, he might just go down here, if they're quick enough, they're not quite, Crystal almost forcing Kenny has to shoot to get shot by his mate. How is he getting three kills? He should have had one at max. Apex with one. Goes down to Spitty. 7-3 in favor of Penta Sports. Yeah, I don't know how Crystal made it out of there. And took so many people with him. Should have had maximum one. When he got the second, I was surprised, but the third, that's just dirt. Laying down smoke. I think we need to see more set strats by Titan. It seems like when they engage a single site, oh, misses the shot. It's unfortunate. Kenny, you're not on point to, uh, today, it seems. Not quite. But it seems like when they roll these set strats where they all push a single bomb site, it works out really well. And the, the strats where they've been. They've been trying to cause rotations and so on. Haven't really been working out that well, but they're not out of it yet. We know Titan can definitely Laying pick up smoke. round after round if that's what it takes. Smoke. Deploying Deploying grenade. Trouble taking a peek in. Apex takes him out. Flash is coming in. Molotov coming in. Four versus five. I think that might be one of the first times where they've Titan has gotten the entry and they've still managed to stay alive for a little bit but Dennis makes me eat my words because they're not alive for a little bit anymore Kenny has going down and Apex might be greeting his friend he does so indeed hello Kenny S. I'm also be deaded and maniac Dennis can he get more existence takes him out next existence all alone this is the shot and Speedy takes him out 8 2 3 and I think the T's will have to eco this time around or at least they might force buy some armor tech 9's plus a smoke but um, I don't think it's gonna be much more than that while there is a small pause here I will just uh, ask why I'm not on HLTV and CSGO lounge <clears throat> my throat is acting up so much it's really really annoying but um, I still want to stay here and stream it's good stuff I'm enjoying this so much uh, yeah you won't even know um, I like there's a guy who just got a drop his name is ESL Katsuitsu and a heart Kenyas has a bad day? Well, that's why they lose. Rip, pick him. Well, yeah. I mean, 
they got 14 rounds against Envious. I didn't know watch the game as I was catched, uh, casting LGB versus Pinta, but um, I mean, 14 rounds, they can't have been that bad. I think it's just Dennis who's going absolutely insane. 17 kills. That's a lot. That's that's very much. Not quite Guardian level, but you're getting this one. We're just waiting for the match to continue. But it, but again, we need to bear in mind that it is a quite heavily CT sided map, and uh, usually a T side with five or six rounds will be quite uh, quite happy. You're doing a great job casting the game. Well, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. I didn't know going in um, to this how I'd fare, but uh, I hope that I am s somewhat enjoyable to listen to, and I hope that I can help build the suspense, but um, yeah, I mean, Maniac, that one round, oh my god, can't get it out of my head. Is this NATO suffix? Yes, this is. The man himself. <clears throat> it seems LGB are actually putting up a fight against Envious, so that's good. My phone charger is not working correctly, and it's really annoying because I can't charge my phone. It just, just doesn't want to work. But anyway, it's not about phones or phone chargers, is it? Dennis now on the <laughs> excuse me, now on the B bomb site. Trying to see if you can find Kenyas. Kenyas looking like a frog. Oh wow! That must have went right through his legs. And Kenyas on top of his head. What are they doing? Okay, I thought they had some kind of set strat that was like super brilliant that I had never thought about. Trouble taking so much damage, down to 23 just from one Molotov. That's insane. Molotov in defense is all it takes. Next peaks out at the perfect time. RPK goes down. Okay, yes, still alive and kicking. Not for long though. Existence goes down as well. Now it's all down to Maniac. And to win this, he needs to be exactly that a Maniac. But it's probably not going to happen. No armor and a 1 versus 5. And Dennis creeping up. Next goes as well. And that's about it. <clears throat> Are we actually going to see Titan go out in groups? That would be. Not the first time. <laughs> Shots fired. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I had uh, I, th I had thought the Titan would have a lot more in store than this. Doesn't seem like they're that they are actually uh, yeah capable of pulling the weight at this major. Or maybe they're just slow starters. Oh my god, NATO casting, yeah. Deploying <clears throat> Dennis, very aggressive peak. I'm liking this. He's gonna take out RPK. There we go. Decides to just back out of there, and it's a wise choice. I'm liking this. Also, they still have three guys set up on A, so the T's can't even take a return. But that means they have no one in mid, and Apex is definitely taking full advantage of this. Kenny has takes out one. Guy was trying to be boosted up onto the rounds, but Dennis. Hungry for blood. Blood in the water, he's like a, an SST weight with expensive skins. Crystal up in the shroud spot. <coughs> Next, oh great Molotov. This might just change the outcome of the round. Kenny has big kill. Apex as well. Dennis, is he gonna be the man again? No, he's not. Existence with a pixel. Only a pixel join of Dennis's head. But that is enough. Crystal. Smart play. Takes out the AK. <clears throat> Picks up the AK. Nade coming in. Flash. Crystal trying to make his way in. And quite fine, Kenny. There it goes. They combine brilliantly and take out Crystal. 9 to 4. If, if Titan pick up their last two rounds, they're definitely still um, big contenders in this match. But um, if they don't, it's going to be an uphill struggle. That's for sure. Hmm. 
it's not Titan that plays that band, it's Pinsa that plays really fucking well. I'm not sure if I can swear. You made me swear. Damn you. <laughs> but anyway. Um, <clears throat> I, I will agree. I will agree. Uh, Penta are playing really, really well. And it, it, it's not so much that Titan are playing poorly. Um, they're just not really getting ent any e easy entries. And Kenny S not really doing the hard carry that we're used to seeing. And um, they really need it, Kenny. Or you're going to go home. Dennis, the man of the match so far, for me at least. Spitty comes to help out. Flash, so Crystal can peek up, but uh, Apex, dead. Deaded? He be deaded. Maniac. We've been seeing him get a lot of good entry franks this round. Well, not this round, this match. Can't quite find any now, and just one HP left. Nay comes in, oh wow! Dodgeball Championships. More like it. Maniac dodges every single nade thrown at him. Good flash coming up. Ah, oh, peeks out a bit too wide. And next ends him. Now the T's. Economy not looking good. Who is the caster? Well, my name is NATO Suffix. I uh, don't have much casting experience, to be honest, but I have a YouTube and I've got a stream myself, so I'm very used to entertaining audiences, is, is what I will explain it as. So, um, yeah, also been a, 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 a loyal CS player for a bit over six years and have therefore somewhat built up some uh, experience. Oh, wow. RPK getting faked out by that flash. Dennis, the beast. Good flash from Maniac. Oh, he's so blind. He's stuck in a corner. But gets help from Spitty, and now it's all down to existence, and they know where he is. In the smoke. Might be clever, but I think as soon as he's going to exit this, he's going to die. You guys hold him point, and that is next and trouble, and they do check him out. Dennis, 23 kills and a half. I mean, what can you do to stop this man? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And uh, team switch, two minutes. <clears throat> Titan will min win map is so CT. <clears throat> I agree that it is very CT sided, but if Dennis keeps playing like this, Titan are gonna go out in groups. I, I think that's pretty, um, pretty obvious, I'd say. Uh, 23 kills in a half, that is, uh, you know, that is beyond good. That is like super duper duper good. And um, if you can get 23 in the next half, yeah, I don't think there's any way back into this game for Titan. Also, if they lose the pistol, it's going to be so hard, and I don't think they're going to be able to, to do it because their mentality will always, uh, like, already be broken as soon as they lose that pistol round. They're going to. You know, not think that they can actually do it, but if Kenyas can pull out the op, I mean, to be fair, I think Titan thought that it would be an easier game, and that is why they kept doing these kind of not forced buys, but kinda. And so Kenny didn't really have the op for more than two rounds of this whole half, I think, and he didn't really put it to much work. So, um, Except for one of them, where it was uh, just about on the brink of clutching a one versus three, so I think the solution to actually winning this game for Titan is handling the economy a bit better, so that Kenny can get his uh, trustworthy up, and we can see some insane plays coming up. But let's highlight the player that is Kenny. Yes, let's watch him for this pistol round. He is instrumental. On the Titan side, <clears throat> and uh, Crystal drop in next a Tech Nine and next going with armor. That is not something you usually see, but it's a very very solid strat because Tech Nine is so OP. Really, I think they're gonna go for the uh, whoops. All right, where are we? Yep, the the Shroud spot boost. Great stuff. Run boost always looks so nice. And it's a quick boost up here, which means that 
the T's might not know, and that means that Apex could be in for a treat. But they've left the bomb side open, and Crystal is looking for it. He sees him, and that's pretty much game over for Apex. Now I have to retake a bomb site, and it's not going to be easy. A, a pretty hard bomb site in its entirety to retake, and this being against a Pentasai who have already gotten great afterplan positions. Doesn't get much harder than that, does it? But they are still going to try. They're going to do their best, and you never know. Sometimes that is enough. Maniac, first one. Next, though, replies with one. Trying to find the head. RPK with one. Dennis in the corner. Is Dennis the man again? And no, he is not. But they don't have a kit. Will he make it? He will not. Kenny has a kit. And they're not going to make it. It's as simple as that. And RPK had a kit. They would have won. Oh, wow. That is so close. Down to the wire. It must be so frustrating to lose that pistol round. Must be so frustrating. And we see the force buy coming in again, and I'm not quite sure this is the the correct strat, the, the correct call in my opinion. Um, force buys are very frequent in high level play, but I mean, it should be pretty obvious by now. But it, like sitting in the game, it's not. But it should be pretty pretty obvious for the average viewer that. Something needs to be changed, and I don't think it's just the fact that they're coming onto the CT side that will change the outcome of the game, if that makes sense, like, the, the course of the game. I think we need Kenny with an op, um, and uh, this force buy is not going to really enable him to, so... Laying down smoke. If they do not win this round, I think that might be a uh, night-night for the Frenchies. Nix and Dennis both going up the blue spot. If existence can land a one eagle two. Oh, there's one. And Apex already taken out. Good nade and good support from Kenny. They know it though. But a lot of damage has been dealt. And the T's do not know that B is completely open. But the the CTs are rotating, which is foolish. But they can't know either. Trouble Oh, very important kill from RBK and he does not get it, so Titan. Not looking too good. <clears throat> and uh, now they're going to go for pretty much the full save and we can see that Kenny was the only guy who did not buy armor last round and didn't buy any nades so I think Existence might have thought uh, about this and it was kind of a a force buy with Kenny still being able to get that up um, wise choice, wise choice definitely I like this setup. Two guys at the back of checkers. Problem is, if they are naded, they have no armor and they're gonna just pretty much instantaneously die. Um, it's not gonna take much. They've already got the entry to the site. Dennis! Oh wow! Oh wow, RPK! And Dennis won. No, but he still peeks! I think he just felt so safe that his teammate had already covered his angle and so he could turn around and that meant that he discovered the hidden CT. Hmm. Kenny looking for exits, but the T's seems like they're too smart. No, they're not too well, they are smart, but Oh my god! Imagine! Imagine him just firing through and getting four lined up like that. That would have been amazing. Oh wow, but we see Kenny coming out with the op. Um, a point I want to make, oh, a, a point I want to get across for people who are new to Counter Strike or whatever, is that um, the T's are all five alive. They know that Kenny only has a pistol, and so the smart thing is to exit the bomb site together. And that is what you saw them do, because even if Kenny gets one, he will never get a gun. Had they exited the site in different ways, they got a bigger chance of finding him. But why try to find a pistol when you can? Yeah, like a pistol doesn't really make any any difference, any economic difference. And so, them leaving the site together was a very wise choice. You saw Kenny get one kill, but he didn't get a gun, he got instantly returned on. And uh, that is just, you know, some of the uh, the thought that goes into these rounds that you might miss if you did not know. Kenny, important kill, but he's not going to get more, I'm sure. 
But then again, it is Kenny, and they do not check their angles at all. Dennis gets him, though. Finally, an RPK. Last man standing. But not going to be standing for long. Trouble AK. Spots him out, and now they know. Coming in from every angle. Good kill. Good kill! Oh my god, RBK! That was so close. He had me, well, I wouldn't say scared, but he he had me excited for a minute. That was insane. So many angles and still. <laughs> Titan, it looks like you're, you've been sent packing by the Germans, and specifically Dennis. 27 kills in 19 rounds. That is, uh, that is beyond repair. Kenny has taken a lot of damage. Crystal, two headshots. They just edged their way out of the smoke. Kenny in the smoke though. Doesn't really find much luck. Maniac goes down. RPK, A1 versus 5, she clutches all. That can save them now and it's not gonna happen. 16 to 4. Penta, absolute domination.